General Dynamics Land Systems has officially unveiled its Abrams X future main battle tank. Abrams X is a proposed upgrade of the M1 Abrams series of tanks. It is being pitched as an interim solution between M1A2, SEPV3 and SEPV4 and a future main battle tank. Viewers may note that the initial information regarding Abrams X was provided in a press release that General Dynamics Land Systems put out ahead of the Association of the U.S. Army's AUSA Main Annual Convention and Trade Show in Washington, D.C. The company first teased the next generation Abrams design back in June. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how lethal is the new Abrams X tank. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. In terms of new tanks being created, there has been a relative lull in developments since the end of the Cold War. The focus was on incremental upgrades instead of creating a revolutionary new design. The M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems, and named for General Creighton Abrams. The United States' primary tank since the mid-1980s the M1 has undergone gradual improvements over 35 years that have continually improved its capability and lethality. The tank was designed in such a way that it had enough room inside to accommodate new components. Many changes were made like improved sights and new battlefield command and control technologies. So while the tank looks similar from outside, the new variants were increasingly more capable. The U.S. Army's most modern iteration, the M1A2 SEP V3, has used the same methodology. This entered service with units in 2020 and incorporated items such as an Under Armour Auxiliary Power Unit, improved radios, and counter IED technology. The next variant, SEP V4, which is being tested, will have enhanced thermal sights and laser detection systems as well as integrate the new XM1147 Advanced Multipurpose Round, which is expected to replace a number of other types of ammunition in a single shell. Abrams X is supposed to bring much more to the table and some radically new features. While details are limited, here are some of the key features. 1. It will have an autoloader. An autoloader is a mechanical aid or replacement for the personnel that load ordnance into crew-served weapons without being an integrated part of the gun itself. An autoloader extracts a shell and propellant charge from the ammunition storage rack and loads it into a magazine or belt if the gun has one, or directly into the chamber of the gun if it does not. It is expected to replace the human loader and hence reduce the crew size. The autoloader can streamline and speed the loading process, resulting in a more effective design. 2. Abrams X will incorporate an unmanned turret. An unmanned turret, as the name implies, does not house any crew. It houses only the weapon and supporting mechanisms. Having no humans in the turret itself means the turret does not need an enclosed space for the crew to sit in. The space will likely be used to hold new components and it will be completely isolated from the crew compartment, protecting the crew in the case of a penetration or ammunition explosion in the turret. 3. Abrams X will also support hybrid power pack that gives 50% more fuel efficiency. This enhances silent watch capability and even allows for some silent mobility. It also supports the U.S. Army's climate and electrification strategies. In this context, it is to be noted that Abrams' current kerosene turbine engine is a major fuel guzzler. 4. 
As per the US Army, the M1A2 Systems Enhancement Package Version 3 SEP V3 tank, the most modern version of the Abrams currently in service, tips the scales at 73.6 tons, more than 10 tons heavier than the original M1. The tank's weight, coupled with its physical dimensions, impose limits on how many of them can be carried inside ships or planes. The latest version of the Abrams is too heavy to be carried by certain landing craft. Abrams X will have reduced weight for improved mobility. 5. AI will be at the very core of the Abrams X. This will enhance lethality, survivability, manned and unmanned teaming, making the tank a more effective platform. 6. The digital backbone for the tank will be the Catalyst Next Generation Electronic Architecture NGEA. It will connect all of its systems together and provide easy upgradability of its hardware and software so that the tank quickly accommodates changing tactical realities and technologies. 7. The main gun will be XM360, an advanced 120mm type originally developed as part of the US Army's Future Combat Systems FCS, program. Secondary armament will include a 30mm chain gun. 8. Abrams X will likely have a very advanced sensor suite that will provide a 360 degree video feed of its surroundings. With the help of augmented reality, this would allow the crew to look through the tank's body for a huge leap in situational awareness. Interestingly, Abrams X launch comes after Germany's Rheinmetall unveiled its first new battle tank since the 1970s, the KF-51 Panther recently. KF-51 is being pitched as the successor to the Cold War origin Leopard and Leopard 2 tank. To know more about that, check the video on the above card. It's evident that Abrams X is designed to meet the future challenges that are expected to present themselves. For example, Russia has come up with Armada T-14, which is an entirely new design and is in limited production. The design incorporates very interesting features, like a fully automated and unmanned turret, the first for any tank, and the ability to move at up to 90 km per hour, or 56 miles per hour, which is more than 20 km per hour, or 12.5 miles per hour, faster than the Abrams M1A2. It also has Afghanit Active Protection System that uses active electronically scanned array radar to detect incoming projectiles and automatically intercept them. Abrams X is expected to help the US Army keep its edge in armored warfare, and it's also clear that the era of tanks has not ended. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.